MMT is a lens. Okay, well, think about what a lens does, right? If you wear prescription lenses, then the idea is that the lens improves your vision, right? It helps you see more clearly. And with MMT, a lot of what we're trying to do is just provide people with better vision, right? With a better picture of how the monetary system that we have today works. And once we get a better understanding of our modern monetary system, we can begin to ask questions like, well, how does that change the government's ability to run policy in the interest of the people? You and I, households, we have to balance our budgets. We have to live within our means. We can't take on too much debt. Federal government is fundamentally different, that it stands in a different relationship vis-a-vis -vis the currency, the dollar, that the federal government of the United States of America is the issuer of our currency. And everybody else is a user of the dollar. So we categorize those, you know, four, we compartmentalize households, businesses, state and local government, put them in one category, users of the currency. The federal government is separate, okay? It's the issuer of the currency and it has the sole legal authority to issue our currency, the US dollar. The US dollar comes from the US government and it can't legally come from anywhere else. So think about it this way. The deficit is the difference between two numbers, right? When we say the government has run a fiscal deficit, we are saying that the government has spent more dollars into the economy than it has subtracted away by taxing us, okay? That's the government's deficit. Spend 100 in, tax 90 back out, we label that a fiscal deficit. And people get very nervous about that because we've been taught to think about the government's finances the way that we think of our own personal finances. So we say, wait, you're spending more than you're taking in, that's so irresponsible, stop that, you know, cut it out, balance your budget. But think about what happens if the government balances its budget. So it spends 100 in to the economy and it taxes or removes 100 back out. Well, now the government's budget is balanced, but somebody lost out on 10, right? When they were running a deficit, they put 100 in, spend 100 in, tax 90 back out. That leaves $10 somewhere in the economy. So one of the most important points that MMT makes is that every deficit is good for someone, right? Every deficit is good for someone because the government's deficit is nothing more than a financial contribution to some other part of the economy.